Here we go. <laughs> Stop, man. That's better. Stop That's better. now. This is ridiculous. This is not happening. This Do we have not... anybody here yet? Have you anybody? Well, Hoshway was here. Hoshway was back. Out. He's back. And then uh, he'll be back, I think. And then. Yeah, he's like, why do I even watch these amateurs? Now look, it it still says red shell on my thing. This is nonsense. I'm not even messing with it. All like, right. I know it says later. if we ran Nintendo. Like, this is nonsense, dude. It's just not updating for some reason. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. Don't worry about it. it it's annoying, dude. It's unprofessional. I know. So unprofessional. I can't. I just can't with this thing. Well, at least we're not on Pat's channel right now and doing... Hey, cause look, it's showing right now. Uh, it's showing Red Shell Radio. It's showing. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> so the thing, I got a notification from from YouTube. It says Nintendo Talk is live. Red Shell Radio episode. Two. <laughs> I mean, if you want to do Red Shell Radio, we should just no, do it. And, like, no, 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 no. Finds out that he's been no, kicked off the no, show. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not going to do. By that. the way, by the way, Pat. Yeah, yeah. You're off. Hey, you're off your own show. Hi, Pat. See you later. And now it's on. Now it's on Fridays. Yeah. Now we're we're changing everything. We're doing. Here's the here's the thing about Fridays. Though. Here's the thing about if we're in Nintendo Bobby. Well, here we go. Everybody everybody else gets fresh Bobby. They get Bobby after the weekend. Mm -hmm. Bobby's had a nice rest. Yeah. Our little Bobby pin. Yeah. Is all rested up. Mm -hmm. That's my new nickname for you, by the way. Oh, look who's okay. drinking McDonald's. That looks a lot like a. Uh, I figured like you would. Shark I figured Capri. you would appreciate that. That's why I, I did do it. appreciate that sponsorship is working. That's why I did it. So Bob, Bobby gets to Friday with if we ran Nintendo after doing seventy other shows. Bobby's a little tired. No, no I, don't, little... I disagree, man. I disagree. I'm tired because right. of the damn time of night it is. That's why I'm tired. It has nothing to do with you got fair. me tired, like worn down. All right. Yeah, you're the master. Turning it all on my fault. That's fair. Well, it's no. It's stop. It's late, man. It's 10.30 for me, man. Oh, here you go with this bullshit again. <laughs> All right, we're just going to start the show, okay? Let's just, All let's, right, just, man. let's just kick it in. Let's do our thing. Here comes the intro. It's going to go back to the other intro. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Well, I said, are you ready? Can't do it. We'll do it live. Okay. You think oh. that you're better? No. We'll do it live! Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! Bow to the masters. Break it down! If we ran Nintendo. If we ran Nintendo. If we ran Nintendo. What is up, everybody, and welcome to episode 114 of If We Ran Nintendo. I am Bobby, the Nintendo Guru, joined by the greatest co-host in all the land, Sean Capri. What is up, Sean? Hi, Bobby. Hi, hi my little Bobby pin. How are no, you? Don't. Do you, you need to stop. No, I, I need to, to start. I've been meaning to say this. I need, I've been meaning to call you my little Bobby pin for a little yes. while. Because every time that I play, well, especially We Happy Few, over the last couple of days, I'm, I'm getting my bobby pins, and I'm trying to unlock some stuff. And I'm mm. trying to get into, like, secret places, and it's all my little bobby pin. And every time I mention it, everybody in the chat thinks that's a really good idea. So, Bobby, you're my little bobby pin. How are you? It's, it's not a good idea. You're something that I use to, like, fix my hair. I've always got mm. at least a couple of you on me. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's hey, not... Bobby, guess yes. what? Hey, Sean, what? what? I'm in a trailer. I see this. I see this. I'm in a... It's actually the title <laughs> of the show, so... We, we we get this. Is it? Yeah. It's Are you sure this isn't Red Shell Radio? Uh, Are you sure we're not on? That's probably why channel? nobody showed up because they think it's Red <laughs> Shell Radio, and they're not showing up because they're like, well, "I'm not coming here for Red Shell Radio." It's it's not. It is if we ran Nintendo. Like we need to like tweet this out, Sean. People stopped showing up as soon as you came back on the show, Bobby. Let's be honest. No, that's not Jason true. Jason and I man. had a pretty that no. Actually, you know what? I can't even I can't even throw shade this week because if uh, if it were up to me and Jay. There'd be really no show. It would be me sitting in a trailer, yeah. yapping my mouth for forty-five minutes, and trying to come up with the show all by myself yeah, and you watching and, it later. You and, uh, you and you and Jason. I don't see. This is the problem, Sean. Well, now we got two yeah. people. I, I don't get this. I went old school with the look. Mm -hmm. I went the old school overlay. Right. This is mm -hmm. one. This is one we used to use way back in the day. So for oh my god, this. <laughs> Why did I go to freaking Skype? Why? This is, this is, 
This is nuts. Is this still the show? It's still the show. It is the show. <laughs> I'm trying to tweet out just to let people know that, like, hey, we're live and we're doing this thing. It, this is ridiculous. Like, this is, it, cause okay. it, because it does show again. The title went back to Red Shell Radio. It's literally just changing on its own. YouTube. This is why I left YouTube. This is why I went to, to twitch.tv oh slash Sean Capri. God, this you can find is me a joke. playing games over there. That was the thing, man. I went live and it wasn't even like broadcasting at all. Like everything was saying it was good, it was connecting, yeah. and then I went to Weed the Nerdy's page and it was like gone. So I was like, nope, going to Twitch. I mean, I'm on my way to affiliate. I've got my at least 50 followers. I've got my streaming hours in. I'm, I need just one more day. And then affiliate, boom. Yeah, it didn't take me long to get it either. It's it's yeah. pretty it's pretty it's pretty. Listen, quick. man, don't go marginalize. Joseph, it's special. No, 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 I, it, no. It's awesome. They did it as quickly as I did. That's awesome, Joseph. Don't start seriously. Like we are in a situation where YouTube is being a biatch right now, and it's just not letting me update the title for some reason. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. is so frustrating. I can't even see straight. So. Um, So I'm just I'm just typing a tweet to send the tweet out. And if anybody can anybody that's here, if they want to like just Oh my god, now I can't even oh, it's pissing me off today. today don't even is, worry about it, Bobby. So Guess she, what? You know what? I don't care. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Who cares? I don't care. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Change it after the show. We'll it change matter. it. We'll change it after the show. It, it don't I can't so. see the chat anyways. It's just me and you. We're just having a chat. This is true. Just like we always do. This is true. This is true. So how how was your week, Sean? It's good, man. I I am now in Calgary. I'm in Riboflavin's land, and I'm gearing up for my my bike ride that I do about this time of year. Um, Is that what for for the cancer? That's why I'm there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be wearing this sexy little little bike uniform. You know, man. Right? You want to see that? Okay, so that's that's the jersey. Can this be the last year you do this? I know, right? Seriously. Like seriously. Maybe can they just seriously cure cancer? Because then I could stop doing the bike ride. That would be great. Don't get me started on that. Cause, you yeah, know, that'd be, look at these little look at these little little bitties, w- Bobby. Can you put them on? I'd like to see your balls in them. No, it's really embarrassing because <laughs> it just kind of it just kind of like smushes everything in. Like it's it's supposed to like keep everything. Like I think you need something like really impressive to look good in yeah. in bike shorts. It doesn't, it doesn't look good, Bobby. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. I look I look like a mother. You know, it's just all like it's all smooth. Which, which but which, it's just like which you're basically it all saying, goes away. Which you're basically saying that you don't have. Balls. It's just like that. I get it. I get it. Just you, like that. It looks like camel. I'm toe. always, yeah, basically, yeah. I get in my in my bike shorts and I'm just like camel toe, hmm. rather That's than a moose knuckle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. I I know exactly what you're saying. Trust me. Yeah. yeah. Believe believe you me. I know exactly what you're saying. So yeah, man. So I'm gonna be up at five in the morning. I'm gonna be on my bike by six thirty, and we're we're off and going. So that's that's me, man. That's how about you? You're you're things are good. Things are good. Um. I don't know. Things aren't good. You know how no, you know, it doesn't seem good. You know, yeah, it doesn't seem good. It's, it's you know whatever. But can, it, can I tell you something? Yeah, tell can me. I tell you something else? Since you asked about my week, my parents, um, my I use for my birthday list, one of my birthday wish list, I use Wonderlist. Okay, so, which okay. is great because then you can share this your your list mm-hmm. with people, right? So I shared this with my parents. Isn't like an Amazon? And, couldn't you just do an Amazon list? You could do that, but like, okay. what if it's not on Amazon? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it could be oh, it could be anything, right? Like, just things. Amazon. Like, what okay. if I wanted bookmarks? I don't okay. know. Right, so, Wait, so you can what? share this. Yeah, I don't know. What's <laughs> <laughs> wrong with bookmarks? bookmarks. Go know, ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. What if you want, Go ahead. <laughs> what if you want a piece of coal and you, and you can't buy it at Amazon? Um, what the hell was I even talking about? Okay, so uh, for the longest time, I had that Elgato on there mm-hmm. on my wish list. I wanted an Elgato for a little while. Yeah. And my mother-in-law got it for me for Christmas just yes. this past year, yes. and I forgot to check it off. No. So my parents, my parents saw it on there, no. and they just we celebrated my birthday. We had a belated birthday it was just this past weekend. Um, they got me a second Elgato. <laughs> well, first off, so, your parents are awesome to do that. That's number one, aren't they? Aren't they? But, yeah, but, man. But secondly, like, what the hell? <laughs> I know. I'm like, I'm like, oh no, I didn't check that off, and like, they don't know. Yeah. Like the stuff, like they wouldn't know. Yeah, and, they wouldn't and, know. Like, yeah. Sean needs that in order to stream, and we see that Sean's streaming, or we know that Sean's streaming, and exactly, okay. oh. exactly. Well, it's funny. My dad was saying, he's like, "Oh yeah, you know, because he was helping me with my whole setup, and I got the green screen. We moved everything once the green screen came in, and he's like, yeah, I saw that logo on the green screen. I was like, oh, maybe he has everything he needs.' And then they just kind of like he didn't 
thing to maybe ask Chelsea or anything like that. So, no. but here's the thing, Bobby. So I got gift cards from everybody else. So I've saved up enough money. I'm going to buy like a nice camera, like a nice, like it's actually a point and shoot, but it's mm-hmm. pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty high end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it has HDMI out on it. Uh, so so I could use it. that. I could. Like I'm Joe thinking does. about it, man. I think Joe after work goes that, I think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm thinking, I'm about, thinking about it. He, he kind of talked me into it a little bit. I just need to um, get a high-end PC, which if things mm-hmm. work out the way I hope they work out, I should have one by the end of the year. So yeah. We'll see. If anybody has any comments on that, let me know, man, because it's sitting there, and like returning gifts from my parents is not always the best thing. So I might, I might use it. I might not. I'm not sure. But I do feel like webcams over USB, it's like 1080p over USB 2.0 is not not the best, man. Mm-hmm. It's too much. It's too much. So mm-hmm. who knows? Could have like a make us better moment. I might just be like buying this thing. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd I don't know, awesome. man. The, um, I'm like, there's so much that's in my mind. I know. But so much I can't, you know what I mean? Like it's one of those mm-hmm. things where, like you want to say stuff and it's like, just keep your mouth shut. Don't mm-hmm. say nothing. Just let it go. And it's like, Thank God we just got games to talk about. I know. Exactly. Nothing right? else. Exactly. Um, mm-hmm. So what, uh, have you been playing any Nintendo stuff or no? No, because I didn't think you were going to be asking me about it anymore. Well, I thought we got rid of that segment. Oh, so, so, so we get, I'm just asking you just out of curiosity. But so no, so, that's a, that's a lie. I am being I'm being salty. I'm, that's a lie. I have been I've been obsessed with Octopath Traveler. I'm like the latest person. I'm the last person on the planet to finally get this game. And I have these moments where I'm like, I'll just like I'll just grind for 10, 15 minutes, and I'll be kind of sitting there. And I'm a sleepy person, Bobby. I just kind of like I'm like my, I'm bobbing, like kind of not not yeah, yeah, yeah. just kind of going to sleep a little bit. And then also I'm just like, okay, just one more. I'm like, oh, if I could just level like up just a little bit more. I'm like, oh, I'll just finish up their sort this part of the story here. And like next thing you know, I'm like, oh, that was two and a half hours of Octopath. Yeah. So I'm loving it, man. That's I awesome. I'm so glad that this game is a thing that exists on the Switch, and I brought it with me. So I'll be playing it tonight in the just like hiding my trailer here, and um, and we're camping tomorrow night after the bike ride. Well, halfway through the bike ride, so I'm gonna be I got my Kindle and my Switch, so I'm gonna be playing some Octopath. So I'm pumped, man. I want to get that Dead Cells game too, though. I've been hearing good things about that's, the Dead Cells. That's a really, really good yeah, game. Like a I think really I'm gonna have to pick it up. Epic game, seriously. Mm-hmm. Like I love that game. Um, that I've been playing Iconocasts. I know, oh, I, I, yeah. know I screwed the name up, but that's a really good one as well, man. That's mm-hmm. that's that's you know, um, the bad bit. bit so you you don't run if we ran Nintendo. So no, don't yeah. worry, don't worry about that nonsense. That was that was a short lived yeah. little stint. Yeah, we don't let's don't don't get in don't get into the if we ran business. Okay, you mm-hmm. just stay in your lane, stay where you are over in PlayStation Land, and just you worry about that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um. See, even you're taking, even the Nintendo Guru is taking care of PlayStation business. You got Toby back. Yeah. Everybody's pumped about Nintendo PlayStation podcast. Dude, that thing is exploding. Like, mm-hmm. straight up. Like, that is insane. Got to, it's a great name for a podcast, I got to say, Bobby. You, you, well, you only say that because you were part of the creation of that. And you were, I'm glad you remembered. You, 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 were, you, were, you were in the thing. But, you know, the funny thing is I, I want to kind of get into that a little bit here. Well, we are. So we last Friday after the show, you, Jason, and myself kind of came to a decision on what we're going to do. Um, we're going to kick out Jason. Without, That's why he's not here this week. You no, know, without without throwing shade or anything like that. Um, we had some issues with the RSS feed, and we're basically going to be almost rebuilding from scratch. Um, yeah. So what we decided to do was we are going to go from episode ninety nine. Because that was the episode that you did, like with all the the memories of yep. the first hundred. Uh, we're gonna go from episode ninety nine forward. Kind of call that season two, mm-hmm. and that stuff will be up on iTunes. And then the first ninety eight episodes will just get archived on NintendoGuru dot com. Um, and the reason for that, just so people understand, there's no way that I can get a hundred and something episodes up like that. It's gonna take me some time. So, what I was worried about happening, or what I wanted, I, I, well, what I was worried about happening was you, people resubscribe to the new feed, 
mm-hmm. and then like I upload this onslaught fifteen episodes or twenty episodes one night, and then boom, they wake up and their phones are completely jammed up in gridlock because it's downloading all the stuff. So we're mm-hmm. trying to just make that all work out properly, um, and 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 see what we're how it all works out. So yeah, that uh that should that should work out. Hopefully by the weekend. I will get it up and running and stuff and and get things moving in the right direction. But there's been so much, just a crazy amount of success coming out of the the podcast that I do have up right now. Um, Nintendo PlayStation is killing it. Red Shell Radio is killing it. Like, I am so appreciative of all the support that we're getting. It's just insane. Um... So it's pretty it's good to have it's, you back, Bobby. It's pretty awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. This guy. Uh, let, Sean, let's kick this episode off like we do each and every oh, yes. episode with our shout outs. Geek outs. Oh, Bobby, there's so much. I am so stoked. Actually, I'm not, I don't, I'm not even geeking out about anything. Actually, I'm geeking out about Diablo. Diablo 3 coming to the Switch, man. Yes. I am so stoked. Everybody. It's, this is a great thing for just the game in general. I know you want to get to your shout outs, but I'm just going to geek out about this for a second because I love when a game comes to Switch. And then, like, even if people don't even have Switch, you're playing that game over there too. Like, Paladins happened on Switch, and all of a sudden, like, Luke Lore is playing that over on his Xbox. And everybody, like, it just kind of gets yeah. a new resurgence in all of these games. I'm stoked, man. I can't believe it's real. So the thing is, and I don't know because I'm going to ask you this Are you able to do cross play? With mm. Diablo, like, was Diablo able to? Cro- that was before crossplay was even a thing. I don't think so. No, so, and I didn't hear anything about it. And I'm wondering, like, I, maybe this is a question back to you. Like, Fortnite, it was a big deal, and then no other game has really like been really doing crossplay. Well, like, is it start? Is it fading Fallout, away? Do you think? No, Fallout 76 is going to do crossplay. The only one it can't do it with is Sony. Get out of here! Is oh, it really? Yeah, dude, Todd Howard basically called Sony out for it too. I know he did, but I guess I didn't put all I remember thinking was just like he was calling out Sony for not being as um, cooperative as you'd like or something. I, he said something like that. And I guess I didn't put two and two together. That means yeah. that everybody else is. Yeah. Like the headline was just Sony isn't. Bad bit. In my yes, mind, I didn't, I didn't think. Oh, man. Bad bit. It is, it is oh. cross play. He, he said that it's going to be cross play. It'll be between PC and Xbox. It may not be at launch, but they're going to do it. Don't 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 try to come in here and mess. I up. hope Diablo is, man. I really really do. That would just that would be absolutely perfect. I mean, I don't it's a game that I love. I don't know that I would spend another $60 on depending on how many other people are picking it up for the Switch. Yeah. But it's it's a co-op game I've been wanting to to play with people for oh, so I'm, so long. I'm getting it. Day 1. No, I, man. I was actually oh. going to So it went up for pre-order, but only the physical copy went up for pre-order. I don't want the mm-hmm. physical copy with the digital. So mm-hmm. I didn't get it yet. Um so we'll see. see that great box artwork with the new funky mode on it. Stop it, dude! And somebody somebody mocked it up, man. It's really funny. Now you can now you get to know who Decker Kane is. I can't wait, man. You can actually understand what Diablo is. I, I love mean, Joseph's comment below your, your I'm daily not video. Dude. I'm not <laughs> You're supposed to be off the internet right now, bad bit. You're supposed to be in hiatus mood. So yeah, you stay true. off the yeah, internet. Really Stop with your nonsense. Um, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so. I guess my shout out is going to be to all of the awesome people today that were started this frenzy, um, which hasn't happened in a while. This follow Friday thing, where like my Twitter just blew up this afternoon, mm-hmm. where like all these people just started like telling people to follow people and like being really, and all of a sudden it starts to turn into this weird quasi love fest. Where people are just telling each other they're thankful for each other and stuff, and it's like, dude, this is awesome. Like we've mm-hmm. had Feels two good. two weeks of just crap, people just yeah. attacking each other, and then you look at like us and our communities, and it's like, this is what it's all about. Like you look mm-hmm. at how we're all tight knit, we have each other's backs, and it's like this is true friendship, true love, love. the way we're the way we're doing all this, and it just makes me feel. It's just, <laughs> I am going to kick your ass, buddy. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, um, man. But it's just, you know, it's it's amazing to me how well 
um, our community gets along and does things mm -hmm. the way they do and all that stuff. And 64 Josh in the house. How you doing, man? Oh, my God. So I'm so nervous. Why are you nervous? And 64 Josh is here. I know he's Don't coming. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I get nervous when he comes. We gotta, we're going to work something out. He's going to come on Nintendo Talk Live very soon. Probably next week. Next oh, week man. Would be, next week would be awesome, uh, Josh, if you could come on next Saturday night. Oh, you know what? I can't. I, I, it'll be the week after. What is happening right next now? Next Saturday night is going to be an awesome thing happening. August 25th. Yeah. Live. From Next Level Games in New Jersey. Oh, snap. It's going to be me. It's going to be Mr. Bad Bit. It's yeah. going to be Joe After Work. And yeah. it's going to be oh. Jams streaming for four hours a Nintendo Talk Live episode. That's crazy. It's going to be pretty awesome. You're not even going to let, you're not even gonna let Nick Militia on the show? Oh, he'll come on. I'm going to let him. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. He'll, he's going to be right there. What am I going to do? be like, no, Nick, you can't go on. No. <laughs> Actually, away, we we added jams, so. Yeah, we added jams, mm. so you kind of got away. <laughs> so Pat is kind of, Pat is supposed to, but it's up in the air because he took off of work yeah. to go to Atlantic City, but he took off the week after. So Atlantic City sounds like a fake place. It sounds like a place in The Simpsons that doesn't exist in the real United States of America. It exists. Don't don't. Or on Casino. It's from New Jersey. Stop. It's from New Jersey. <laughs> okay, man. I don't mean to upset. I can't wait. August twenty fifth. Next Saturday. So we're gonna stream. It'll Sweet, be man. It'll be streamed live on YouTube. Um, because I'm gonna basically take my setup to some degree mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna go up there tomorrow to kind of get a lay of the land and see what's going on. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then we are test going a little to, internet. I just want to see what the what the speeds are up there. Yeah, I mean, he does mm -hmm. a speed run showcase every week. Um, yeah, so it so should be fine. It should be not every week, but every, like once a month they do it, so it should be fine. I just want to make sure. I just want to see what we're looking at. Smart, you know. Basically, I'll have uh, the camera, and then uh, you know, then we'll have. Uh, I mean, I'll have my my camera. I'll have a microphone, so we'll be set, and then. I just got to come up with topics to be able to talk about for four hours. But you know me. It should be I hard. I, you, you know how I am. The Kevin Smith of video game I, I fine. run my jaws, man. I run my jaws. Yeah, man. I got, you know, and one other thing. Um, this is a weird, this is, this shout out just turned into just talking stuff. So my, <laughs> my Fridays, right? My Friday shows. Sorry, Todd. That I, I, would you stop apologizing to him? He's done. <laughs> Todd Hoxer's out, man. He's done. I like Todd. I, I like Todd. I love Todd. Todd knows that. I just like to, I like to break his balls. Um, because I know it drives him crazy when I when mm -hmm. we talk about He's it. Like, we, just talk about the topic. Just, Nobody cares. <laughs> he's still around after all these years. He's still here. That's true. That's true. So because he cares. Because he's just getting an ego boost the whole time we bring up his name. That's why mm -hmm. he's like, really, every show, really. Yeah, there yeah, it is. All right, yeah, there all right. it is. I'll, I'll be again. back next week. You yeah, got I'll it this be... week. I'll be back next week. <laughs> but <laughs> the crazy thing is, is like I started. I come back. I do Nintendo Guru Daily, which was Nintendo Talk in a previous lifetime. Um, but the weird thing is, is like I come back. I do Nintendo Guru Daily, and the reason why I did, I named it Nintendo Guru Daily, was so I could. If there was a time that there was no Nintendo news, I could essentially talk about anything I want to mm -hmm. because it's Nintendo Guru Daily. It's not really Nintendo Daily. Um, but then Fridays kind of turned into this weird thing that Dance I do. Dance party. Dude, this morning in Discord, people are bringing it up already. They're just like, hey, man, today's dance day. And it's like... All right, I got to th figure out what I'm going to do here. And, you know, so I all day long, I'm sitting there thinking, like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So then I get in and I start telling stories and stuff. And I don't know. Did you watch today's? No, I've been locked up in this okay. trailer trying to conserve my phone battery. It's supposed to last me all weekend. Oh, Jesus. Um, I've got a couple of little, like, external battery chargers and that's it. Oh, my God. So I talk about, I talk about, a, I tell a story about, um, I think I brought it up to you. I think I told you before. Where I feel like something died down this end of the house. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I know all dude, about these, this story. These flies started showing up, Sean. Oh, Jesus, body. That are, like, literally this big, dude. They're they're oh, monsters, man. They're, they're huge. Idiot. They're legitimately scaring the crap out of me. And, like, the funny thing is, is I'm, I'm recording. 
and I'm talking about them, and one like swoops at me. <laughs> like, the perfect timing, dude. And I like jump out of the way of the thing. I watch the video back, and I every time it gets to the point where I like die, like I die out of the way. I start <laughs> laughing so hard. I'm like, that that is like the perfect thing, like. That is the perfect moment for something that. Oh, that that's happened. awful. And if you listen, that reminds me of the Ninja Turtles game on on NES, man. The giant flies, like you got to like chop them up. Oh with my your... god, dude! It, it, something awful. must have died in the walls. It's the only thing I can figure. Like a mouse or something must have died in the wall, because the first couple, of the, like the. Isn't that what happened? It, I thought that's it what must I... have. It had to. Oh have. my so, gosh! I thought it was under the building. It can't be because all these flies are are here now. Um, what if it was? What if it was? Um, Bad bit son Jeremy keeps looking for him. Could be. He's looking for Jeremy. Jeremy might maybe be. Jeremy's dead. He might be. He might be. Have he's... Sorry, Bad bit. Jeremy. Jeremy came to pay a visit, and I, I offed him. You know. Yeah. It's, no. it's whatever. Not on purpose. He just sort of like rolled his ankle and like got trapped, and then nobody knew. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like James Franco. He just he didn't mean to get stuck. He just kind of like slipped, and his arm got stuck. Exactly. Exactly. Gone for 127 hours. So Sean, how about we jump hey, into Bobby. some topics here? Um, oh, I don't have any shout outs or anything. That's oh, cool. okay. Well, I thought you did a shout out. My bad. No, that's cool, man. When you shouted we're out talking your about, talking about Jeremy, talking about Jeremy, talking about Jeremy, and talking about Moose Knuckles and everything yeah, else. When you shouted that out. Speaking of Moose Knuckles, wanna... how's your how's your boys at, at Game Moose? What? I said, speaking of Moose Knuckles, how's your boys at Game Moose? Oh, Game Moose. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna see them soon. I'm like, what? What are you talking about my my bad bits? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. You know how hot it is up in here. First of all, I want okay. First, I want to give a shout out to Justin Masson, your your guest on uh, Nintendo Talk. What do you call the show? Nintendo Talk. Nintendo Talk Live. Live. Yep. Yep. Uh, in true fashion, just always taking his shots at me. I don't know what the hell I did to Justin, but I have I love undying this. love for him. I, love I don't know him. if he's lost weight or something. He's looking great. Um, I also have. I was thinking about him because as I am in this trailer right now feeling weird mm-hmm. and hoping that my internet is here and like it's dark and I, I feel like I should have my Justin Masson cup of tea and like I just I don't know how he does it man four in the morning doing Nintendo dads and like kind of oh. hiding and just like you can't really be I don't feel like myself so I feel like I, I feel like I connect a little bit with Justin and he was a great guest you should have him back on oh definitely you like know very that. very soon you know that I love Justin love Justin. I yeah. want to give a shout out to Josh Stapleton, who on my stream earlier this week, uh, he gave my first tip. So thank nice. you to Josh Stapleton. Got my first donation That's while awesome. while streaming. And of course, of course, it was Josh Stapleton. That's awesome. You know what I mean? That's awesome. So thank, thank you to Josh. Really quickly, uh, shout out to Luke Lore, mm-hmm. the Insipid Ghost, MLS Reserves, my new co-host yes. for the new rebooted, refueled Xbox drive. I I'll love, tell you, man, speaking, I, of, speaking of love. I love the that show's. That- he is there. Like, that means so much to me that he is there. Because now I'll actually listen to it. All right. That's great, man. <laughs> I think that's, that's, you know what, that's the, that's the funniest thing, man, as when we, when we shut the show down and even as we're bringing it back, people are like, this is the only Xbox show I listen to. I don't even own an Xbox. Like, people who say that sort of thing, it just, like, it melts my heart. That's cool, And man. now we have people who actually, like, understand what the hell Xbox is about. Yep. And, like, honestly, like, better than I, I can just, like, I can literally just, like, drive home. Yeah. And and Luke can take the show. Yeah. So it's it's awesome, man. So shout out to Luke. And of course, uh Jonathan Brown and Adam Leonard for the artwork and for the music, man. We got like the the music is like probably even too urban yeah. for the, the whitest dudes on the internet talking about Xbox. And then Adam Leonard like I'm glad he got all his practice out with all of your artwork because he just nailed it, man. This Xbox oh, drive my, artwork my artwork is out of crap. The... Is that what you're saying? No, I'm just telling you, man. Listen, he just he got a lot of practice. You're you know, the best dude, one. that that I'm Don't you turn at it right that now. into anything else other than a compliment that this is his best artwork yet? The behind the seat, no, it's not. The behind the seats of Jules Watchem is his best artwork. That thing. No, because is... you know what? You know what? I I know the the backstory behind that, and he draws his his artwork in layers. And if you take away the little shower curtain or the the curtain, whatever it is, what what are you hiding behind? What's Jules yeah, hiding behind? Yeah, yeah. A yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a little boner up in there. Oh, so I know the story. Stop. So stop. all right. Anyway, let's go. So if we ran Nintendo. Oh, right. This, that's the show. Are we live? <laughs> We're live. Um, oh, okay. Todd Oxer's going out of his mind right now. Um, All right. What are we talking about today? So if we... Oh, we got a couple topics here. But if we ran Nintendo... What? Oh, okay. Would we port Super Mario Brothers U? Or how... I'm sorry. Mm. How would we port it over? Um, would we make it 
how would we make it deluxe? Where will we price it at? So I kind of want to get into this a little bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so my boy Patrick, he kind of helped, I guess, quasi broke the leak a little bit. Like he was on top of it. Um, Liam Liam Robertson actually officially leaked it, and then Patrick like he jumped all over it. He was even on it before he came explain, which was pretty awesome. Um, well, but, they're busy filming for the next six hours on this thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're right. they're breaking they're breaking the rumor apart, and they're like exactly they took the tweet and they're actually showing different angles of video of the tweet <laughs> and, and yeah. doing that. Like, yeah, that's their thing. Um, but so essentially, like Pat brings up a good point of in his video, if you watch his video, that they could potentially put Luigi U in with that. Of course, yeah. I don't feel, for me, if if I'm running Nintendo, which that's what this whole show is based on, I don't feel like that's enough. I don't feel like that's enough yeah. value to warrant a $60 price label. Um, so for me, I would look at it and go, I would also bring in the Wii version, the new Super Mario Bros. Wii. Mm. I'd bring mm-hmm. that that one in, um, and I would probably bring either one or both of the 3DS. ones on the 3DS. Because mm-hmm. um, the one was just the one with the coins. That was just a crazy coin game. But that was a fun game as well. And then the other one. And, and kind of turn the new into the new Super Mario Bros. All-Stars. And just basically yep. take those four games, jam it together, and then your, your new... Um, DS and one on 3DS. I think it was one on DS and one on 3DS. Um, yeah, could, with the, the million wrong, coins or whatever, I, I, I can't was... remember. I can't recall. Well, that's the thing is that they all started to blend together. There's way too many of these games. So, uh, yeah. like, while I have a bit of a visceral reaction to this coming to the Switch, I'm like, God, it's not the 2D Mario that I want. Like, I like this idea that there there could be like this grand collection of all new Super Mario stuff as like a here it is. We're not doing this ever again. Yeah. The next 2D Mario we're gonna do is gonna be something completely different, mm-hmm. and that this is this is it. Yeah. Or maybe they don't even do like I don't know, man. It's because I, I I'm I'm thinking about Mario Kart as well, where you've got deluxe and you're kind of like, well, I don't need anything else yeah. ever. Yeah. Right. But I don't know if that's necessarily the same thing with 2D Mario because I do feel like there's more to be explored. There is there's more art styles. There's more. There's just there's there's different things that can happen with that. Where with Mario Kart, like I don't know, I don't know if I want anything more. Yeah. Unless they do, maybe, what would you think? Maybe it's another topic for another day, but, like, what if they did, like, Mario Kart in the style of, like, Epic Yarn? Or, uh, oh like, a, you know what I mean? Like, they could just, like, have, like, the different materials, like, clay and and licorice well, or whatever the said, hell Kirby's done. I've always said that because after the, the one game that they did with Kirby, uh, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse on the Wii U, yeah, uh, I said immediately that I wanted the next Mario game 2D side-scrolling to be that. To be yeah. clay, um, just because of the whole fact of like, if you remember, back in the day, the f- the first issue of Nintendo Power was Super Mario Bros. Two, oh, yep. and it was yep. clay, um, mm-hmm. and then the final issue of Nintendo Power was uh, basically again it was a, a basically a remake of that in clay, but rather than wart, you had Bowser and all that stuff. So for me. I would love the fact that, like, if they could turn a 2D side-scroller into a clay world. Um, mm-hmm. but let's... Somebody was just talking, we were sort of talking about this somewhere else, I can't remember where the heck it was, but somebody brought up um, Cuphead. Somebody brought yeah. up, like, doing a, doing a Mario and, like, a hand-drawn That would be thing. amazing. I can't remember. Well, because I if you think about it... I'm sorry like, for forgetting that. Well, you think about it, like, you look at, uh, you know, you look at Zelda, right? And Zelda is basically a lot of 2D side-scrolling. You know, or not 2D. Sure. I mean, no, I'm wrong. I meant hand drawn. Like Zelda is a lot of hand drawn art, like watercolor type stuff. So that art style would lend very well, I think, to a side scrolling 2D Zelda game or 2D. How do I keep saying it? 2D Mario game. Um, I mean, ultimately, would it be? I would rather see them do something different than copy Zelda. To be honest with you, well, that's, that's um, my thoughts with like the the Kirby and Yoshi stuff. Is like, yeah, it'd be cool to see Mario done in, with those materials, but like at the same time, like it's been done on like what I think is like the B the B yeah. side, the B team, and like the filler stuff. Yoshi and Kirby is like not well, what I buy a Nintendo system for. The thing of it too is, is that with Kirby, Kirby's always the test. 
You know what I mean? Like, they test mm-hmm. things out on Kirby, and then if it works, they move it over to the other franchises. Mm-hmm. Um, you looked at Epic Yarn worked for Kirby, and then they moved it over to Yoshi and made Wooly World. They changed Right, so those, they can share there yeah. in that world, I think. Um, yeah, but the I only... want I'd want them to be can I wonder if there's a way for them to do in the new Super Mario for you to like flip a switch and then you're in Mario World artwork. Kind of like what you did in, in Mario Maker. I yeah. I don't know if that completely breaks things or like they probably have to rebuild it, but man, that that would be that would be a day one purchase for me instead of like a maybe one day cuz I I honestly don't need to go back to new Super Mario Brothers yeah. Wii U. Yeah. But absolutely they need to include Luigi because that's something that like so you have a fraction of Nintendo fans who owned a Wii U. A fraction of those people owned the new Super Mario Bros. Probably a large fraction, but yeah. like it's still like a smaller number than the total people who own the Wii U. And then an even smaller number of that who got Luigi. So it's like, how many copies did that thing even really sell? Yeah. So give that thing new life because it was the most, really the most innovative 2D stuff that we've seen from Nintendo, I think, in a while. It like, was hard. It was totally different and very It was crazy hard. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, was, yeah. And that's the thing, like when you... I think, if anything, I, they didn't really announce what, what Captain Toad did. Um, but, like, Tropical Freeze is selling like gangbusters. Mm-hmm. And you look at these games that people are like, why are they porting games? Why are they porting Because they're selling. Like, yeah, no, there's no question. There's no question why, that, are they, why are they doing these that. These are games that people wanted, mm-hmm. but they didn't want to buy a Wii U. And yeah, yeah and point. it's showing. You know what I mean? Like it's it's mm-hmm. definitely showing that you know that these people want these games. They wish they would have had them. There's a, and we've talked about this before. Like there's still a few games that I would port over without a without a shadow of a doubt. I would bring a few games over. Tokyo so, Mirage Sessions Sharp FE. Come on, man. Yes, let's go. Man, that's number one. Man, that's definitely man. Because mm-hmm. when you look at Nintendo and you go, you don't have a Persona type game. That is mm-hmm. Persona. Like, we discussed it. Like, that's basically... Mm-hmm. I remember. Persona. I was just thinking of the conversation we had when they announced that game. Yeah. And I was like, ah, oh, that's it. That's, that yeah. could save the Wii U. But, like, that was nah, stupid. No, it was, yeah, it was way off. No. Um, Everything, every time anything new was announced, we're like, this is it. That, yeah. This is what people get excited for. But so, never happened, man. So the thing is, is do you think that this game comes in at a $60 price range if it's just Josh said Devil's Third, oh my God, please! Don't. Oh God, Barry Dunn's number one game on the Wii U. The Bar- Barry's gonna have a heart attack when he sees this. I know. This. Oh my God. Um, I know. So, so the thing is, is odds are they're gonna give you. They're just gonna. They're not gonna do it. What we said or what I said with the whole. I know everything Wii else. De- no, definitely not. So my question to you is. Because this is going to kind of go back to if we ran Nintendo. Where do you think the value is going to come in? And what do you think they're going to charge if Gosh. they only put the DLC? Like, do you really think they're going to charge $60 for that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I really do. I have, I, I, I would definitely, especially when it comes to Nintendo, man. Yeah. I, I will bet on a higher price every day of the week. I wonder, though, if there's an opportunity for them to have, like, some sort of special controller or bundle in that way. Yeah. Um, I don't know, like, or some sort, maybe even, like, a... Man, that that could be bundled in with systems. To be honest with you, like oh, absolutely. We're gonna have we're gonna have Smash, so that maybe not. Like I don't know how many bundles they they want to do, but Mario sells no matter what. And we yeah. know that these new Super Mario games are like they smell like they sell they smell they sell like crazy, <laughs> and, they, and they stink. Well, the, th- the thing is, is two D Mario sells way better than three D. I Mario. know, Always but that's has... crazy because Odyssey sold like nuts, man. What did yeah. it do? Like nine million units last Something year, and like that, still yeah. and counting. Yeah. So to think that like this could actually sell more, and that's why yeah. I think you put it with a bundle. I think that's why you bundle it with the system. Yeah, Josh is saying that the latest rumor says that Luigi U will be included in the new content. It's, it's got to it's be. Gotta it's be. got to be. There's, there's mm-hmm. no way it can't be. If it if it doesn't, they're they're totally dropping the ball. I think. I um, mean, it leads me to go to like when do we get World? When do we get 3D Land? Like I like your your notion of bringing over 3DS games and bundling them in with the with the Wii U games. Like this is this is the world that we live in now where this yeah. the handheld is also the console so you're combining it. So it's almost like emblematic of that. It's like symbolic. Yeah. That the old games where you'd have like a version for the console and a version for the three D S, now they come back onto the Switch and you get both of them. Like that would yeah. be that would be so cool. I would love it if they had world three D world and three D land on the Switch. That's gotta be next. Yeah. If we were in Nintendo that would be next. I'd absolutely. be way more stoked about that. Oh absolutely. Absolutely. Um 
Okay, so I want to move along a little bit because we're definitely up. All right, man, don't let don't let me hold you up. If we ran Nintendo, what other oh, Blizzard snap. games would we be working on to get over to the Switch? And the reason why I bring this up is I know that you are further on the world of like Blizzard, like you know more about it than I do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Diablo was a shock, I think. I mean, it was heavily rumored for a while now. But it was definitely like I don't think anybody, even when they when the rumor got leaked, I don't think anybody saw that coming. Shock is a is a weird word to use. I think I think it is like they they denied it, and maybe some people started to believe the denials. But like for the honestly, like you look at a game like Diablo, it's on everything else. It sells like bonkers, and ban- and bananas, and and like the Switch can handle it. Like we're getting to the point where there's a lot of games that are left over from the last generation of consoles, 360, PS3 era, and older PCs. That the Switch is like it's perfect for that. Yeah. And nobody cares about the brand new stuff anymore. There's a ton of these games that people are still playing elsewhere. Um, man, like a classic, a great, probably even the more typical example of that is World of Warcraft. Like, can you imagine World of Warcraft wherever you go? Oh my God. That would change. That would everything. <laughs> everything. Man. I was gonna say it would ruin marriages. Yeah, um, you're right. Though. You know, what I mean? it would it would it would ruin lives. Yeah. It would it would change everything. I think that that would be that would be the next big one. I think a lot of people are asking for for Overwatch, but yeah. man, you could you could go through the 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 library of Blizzard games. And it's just like amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah. Nothing holds a candle to the blockbuster nature that World of Warcraft yeah. is. And that's the thing. Like when when you look at what Blizzard does. And what they put out. Like, mm-hmm. as a gaming fan, I want Blizzard to be involved with Nintendo. Big time. And as 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 a community, as a Nintendo community, we need Blizzard to be mm-hmm. involved with Nintendo. Because they're, to me, on the level of, like, a Bethesda and all these big-name third-party Oh, they're, they're top, man. Well, they're yeah, they're, they're way up there. They're yeah, on they're the way tippy up top there. of the mountain. But, mm-hmm. like, I look at what Bethesda's doing with Nintendo right now, and that's what I can potentially see Blizzard doing. Oh, I see doing. what you're saying. The commitment yeah. to Nintendo? I see what you're saying. Once they see that, hey, man, stuff is selling on this thing, because mm-hmm. I really think it will. I think Diablo will, will sell like gangbusters. Yeah. Because they're doing the right thing. They're adding some Zelda content to it, which mm-hmm. is smart. Um... And then next thing you know, it just blows up. Like, dude, I want to play as Ganon. Like, believe it, man. Like, Mm -hmm. who wouldn't want to play as Ganon? Like, he's badass, you know? So, to me, it's like... Golly, I think I'm going to have to buy this game on Switch. I'm buying it, man. You better (sighs) buy it. So, Dang it. Yeah, that is... It's that Nintendo Extra, man. And they're they're flexible with their stuff like that. I like that they have some... A little bit of crossover in their universe and worlds. Heroes of the Storm is a great example. It definitely should be on there. Yeah. The little MOBA, like, mm-hmm. not little, but I mean, it's any of that stuff. I joked about StarCraft 64, but I definitely don't want that. I, I don't think real time strategy stuff has any business on Switch. But yeah. I don't know. Maybe a MOBA might work. Well, might be possible. I mean, you think about it. Real time strategy on the Switch might actually work in handheld mode very well. Maybe better than, than other consoles, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, Overwatch is the next one that, that people absolutely, we have to check that box. Overwatch, I think, be would there. become one of those ones that if it does, it becomes very Fortnite-ish, where mm-hmm. it revitalizes it, it gets it like back in the limelight again, and go because people would lose their minds being able to play Overwatch anywhere, anytime. Mm-hmm. Very similar to Fortnite. The fact that you can just pick it up and play anytime you want um, is pretty phenomenal, man. It is pretty awesome. So, yeah, man. I'm... I'm I'm definitely excited to see Blizzard working hand in hand with Nintendo, um, and and coming in the fold, man. Like I, when they announced Diablo, like just watch my videos this week. I was freaking out, man, because I was so happy to Since see that, like this stuff was actually coming because it's the potential. That's what gets me excited. The game mm-hmm. is a great game, and I'm not knocking the game ever at all. I love the game. I think it's a fun game. But for me, I look at it and I go like. There's so much potential here, guys. Like, if this goes, this mm-hmm. is going to be awesome. You know, like, you see already that Paladins is working well, and, and Paladins is similar. I'm not going to say it's like Overwatch. It's similar in a lot of regards to what Overwatch is doing. Man, could you imagine 
bringing Overwatch over, how people would just lose their minds. And the thing is, is like when I when I look at what Bethesda does, I feel like anything can go on the Switch now. Like yeah, these I'm with guys you. are killing it, man. Mm-hmm. Like they're they're talking Doom Eternal hitting day and date. Like that's madness, man. Mm-hmm. And Wolfenstein, my under like it took a while to get Wolfenstein finally out, but what I'm understanding is like it's it's pretty damn good. Like there's no problems with it at all running on the Switch. So they're they're nailing it in terms of like what they're doing, you know, but it's just it's crazy to think. Look look at how far we've come where it used to be like this pipe dream of like maybe one day we could get some Blizzard games on, but now like the topic is not maybe one or if we could get one like what's the next one yeah yeah because that's my hope my hope is that this game they said this is crazy they said that um when when diablo 3 launched originally Mm -hmm. that three million copies in a few days yeah and they were like it shattered records like that's unheard of man that is insanity. You know what though? It'll it'll do that easy on Switch. Oh no doubt, man. That's the that's the best thing. Because they, I mean, obviously Fortnite was free, but like, would Fortnite have like four million downloads within the first couple of days? Like that's yeah. nuts. Yeah, once so, it was, yeah, yeah. So I mean, for me, I look at it and I go, or I think it was two million downloads in two. That's why I, I didn't want to. Yeah, but I think I, I think it got to four million pretty quickly. Um, right. But like, I look at this and I go, like, this is this is huge. This is huge momentum. This will be really good mm-hmm. and, and i think if it does sell then that's a matter of them just turning around and going like okay we're bringing more we're bringing i think more. i think it has to be like sooner rather than later to be honest with you oh, especially absolutely. with the world of warcraft thing like they got this expansion coming out like there's a lot of hype going oh, on the expansion hit the expansion's out now it's massive that's what i'm saying like it's yeah. it's now right yeah. so but like could they have like another wave like it's it's interesting the way that you watch like blizzard and what they do with like their long lasting titles and franchises and how they kind of it doesn't seem like it's happening every other day but it's so strategic man they just seem to happen at the exact right moment just when you thought you're like you know what i think i'm gonna walk away from world of warcraft boom pandas yeah pandas are involved <laughs> now there's like the battle of azeroth people are like ah oh, they keep bringing me back in so it'd be incredible to see you know now we've got it coming out right now their expansion pack is happening now what if in like february it comes to switch and then it has this whole this whole thing like what yeah. i was talking about before with diablo 3 coming out um everybody anywhere is just like, oh, people are talking about Diablo again. Yeah, I should probably fire that up. Yeah. It happens everywhere. What's happening in the chat, man? I don't have well, it going on. You're giggling over there. Well, because, you know, because bad bit. Pandaren, Sean. Not, they're not panda. <laughs> no, they're pandas. They're pandas. I know. They're kung fu he, pandas. Yeah. Jack Black is in there. Exactly, right? yeah. 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 Um, I'm not the only one to think that, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I think it. I'm with you. Trust me. Um, so let's let's jump into this last topic. All right. For the night, and then we will shut her down. So we, I like how we just sort of like started doing three topics. We never really made a big deal about this. We're just like, hey, Todd, shut up. There's three topics. Yeah, now, now he's going to be <laughs> quiet because we just rattled through three topics. If we ran Nintendo, do we feel the Walmart exclusive Switch with mm. Aces and 1 2 Switch is the best combination? Is there enough value in it? Would we change it? And if we would, what would we change? Um, so this thing got announced this week. Um, it essentially is, I think, three fifty for the bundle, mm-hmm. and it comes with one, two Switch and Mario Aces. What do you think, Sean? What, what, what's your thoughts on this thing? This is an interesting sign in the Switch life cycle in that we've officially hit the oh, what the hell bundle, yeah. right? Where you used to have like the ones that like you get nothing. And you're just going to take it because you're an early adopter yeah. and you're silly and you don't have any patience. So you're going to buy that one. Then you get some that are like really compelling. Uh, and then you get to this point where you have one, two switch and Mario aces and people are like, well, I guess I've been wanting a, a switch anyways. And why would I get the core system? So I might yeah. as well, I might as well get this one. So it's the value bundle for the people who don't really know any better. So I guess if we we're at Nintendo, yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably have that, but it has to, um, it has to sit alongside a Smash bundle, right? Which yeah. which we know is happening. So, I mean, is it the best value? No. Um, is it going to push uh, copies of games that people were probably done buying anyways? Probably. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. it, it's probably a better value than the core system for a lot of people looking to buy a Switch. So, for those reasons, yeah. And, and Nintendo is not in a need of a bundle to, like, um, like Smash, really. Um, 
to sell units. They don't have to convince people with like, oh, you get this free thing that's like really amazing. Like, yeah, you get this like mediocre stuff too, and we know you're gonna buy it anyways. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it has a little bit of that attitude. I thought it was just not really needing our attention. On uh, on Red Shell this week, I brought it up when I was talking to Pat, and I said I feel like this bundle is the Wii U or the Wii bundle, um, where you're kind of getting Wii Sports because tennis is motion control. It's more of the motion control bundle. That. You know what yep. I mean? Where one two switch is kind of like a, a tech demo. Uh, it's, it's it's showing you what the switch can do, uh, and then you get Mario Aces, which is a tennis game, and it has. You could go back and like like you said, you tell stories all the time. Your dad playing tennis, mm-hmm. like taking like John McEnroe and stuff, really serving <laughs> and like running across the living room and like, you know, like that's, <laughs> like that's you know, oh my god, that's just <laughs> awesome stuff, you know. So yeah, for me, that's a good point actually. So I think I think in those terms, yes, I don't believe it's a wise move for Nintendo to put stuff in like Odyssey and Zelda. Um, they're going to sell regardless. Those bundles will move no matter what. Same thing with Mario Kart. I don't think I would put Mario Kart in it. Um, I might do a Splatoon one. Um, See, but I think those ones are like in that echelon where they deserve a limited edition. Yeah. Like, And to your point, and I, you've made it a few times, I think, about like the system itself has to be special. Like, do We something. don't want to just have... Yeah, man. Right? So I think I think for those games, for Mario Odyssey, for Breath of the Wild, do we get a different one for Breath of the Wild? I don't think we did. No, we've never really gotten anything. No, the only thing that got really. something special was uh, Odyssey got the the cherry red, red. Joy Cons, yeah, and that was it. So I think that that's okay. Like those are that's a that's a great yeah. way uh, for collectors and people who really care about. It. And then yeah, this is a, that's an excellent point because I was kind of pooping on on aces and and one two switch that's exactly this is the the grandma the mom and dad and grandma and grandpa yeah type of, type for, of bundle. for me i i look at me as an as a nintendo i mean i'm an early adopter you know that i bought it day one mm-hmm. no questions asked i bought two of them day one no questions mm-hmm. asked i'm in the market for a second one i do want to buy a second switch and people are like well why do you want a second Switch?" i want a second switch because i want one to be in the living room and one to be here and then when I have friends over, I can have two in the living room. Just stop, you know, can... Bobby. No, stop. Are you serious right now? No, I do want to. No, I, I really but do. But then you gotta, your your account doesn't carry over and everything. you got to buy games twice over or whatever. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, maybe cloud saves are going to be different. I'm not sure how that's going to work. I don't know that, 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 uh, that Mario Aces, it, uh, you don't need to have two copies of the game. Hmm. So, yeah, but if your progress saves, I mean, it depends on again. I'm like, not worried about that. I'm not worried about moment. that stuff. I'm just looking at it. You as, don't need a second. It, you don't need a second switch, Bobby. Shut your face, Sean. Shut your face. This is silly. Don't this worry, is silly. Don't worry Bobby. about me, okay? Don't all right, worry about all right. you. Don't worry about me. Right. You, Mister Two Xboxes, Two PS4s. You're gonna say stuff to me, really? Yeah, one's and, my wife's. And you, so what? So one's gonna be my. So wife. what? We can't Look, share. This is my wife right now. So it's all right. Gonna, uh, so all right, gonna... all right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Bobby. I like tacos. Tacos and burritos. No. And taco flavor the cheese. Whole, the whole thing, I think, is like when when Miguel comes over or whatever, if he doesn't bring his Switch, we can just jump on. I have two of them here. If anybody comes <laughs> over, I have two of them here. Whatever. I, 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 I kind of want a second one. So. <laughs> all right, man. All right. Anyway, go, the go point nuts, is. Go okay, nuts, let go me nuts. finish my point because you're killing my All right, point. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, my point is, is I still haven't found a reason to buy a second Switch. And and that's because the docks aren't special. The back faceplate's yep. not special. Yep. The, the Joy-Con grip isn't special. The mm-hmm. Joy-Cons aren't special. So it's to me, it's like that's what would push me over the edge. The only one that was a special edition like that was the Monster Hunter one that they put out in Japan, where the dock was actually right a special edition, like a different. And I got excited because I thought, man, this is the way they're going to start doing this stuff now. Mm-hmm. And they, yep. then they put no. the Odyssey out, and it's just the Joy Cons, and it's like, you got to be kidding me, man! Like that was, mm-hmm. I it almost pushed me to buy it. Couldn't you buy those Joy Cons separately too? In Japan, you can still buy the Cherry Red. Se- oh, in Japan, I yeah. remember seeing the box for yeah. sure. Reggie, um, Reggie doesn't like Americans apparently. So, but he's Amer, but. Um, hi, Bobby. Uh, 
Uh, when is when is Mario Party coming out? Is it this year or is it next year? It's, I, I thought it was this year. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was too. I thought it was in a couple months, a few months. Because that is the bundle. That's the one. If yeah, you're going man. for like yeah. family stuff, if you're going for the, like that's the one that's going to get people. That's the one you put in and it'll get people fired mm-hmm. up, man. Mm-hmm. Like, people yeah, are like, genuinely excited about Mario Party. And for the people who are casual, who would just yeah, buy, October. like if they're going to not want a, a, a core system, they want to see a game come with it. Those are the types of people who play Mario Party. Like it's yeah. just a magical mix. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, yeah, I think that's. I think that's essentially well. Because when you go back to our original story or original topic, you mentioned that about like you would put like Super Mario, you know, Super Mario Brothers U in a bundle. To me, that mm-hmm. makes sense. You know what I mean? Like that's going to be a game that like will sell consoles, I think. Like, you always... A yeah. Lot, a lot of consoles always had a Mario game in the console. I think that's a good right. move to put that one in there uh, to get people excited for it, so... Well, and, with, and I'll, I'll finish with this. You know, I, I look at, as an Xbox fan, I look at... They're, they're announcing, like, new bundles, like, every other week. And so yeah. there's this fine line. Like, with Xbox, the bundles aren't special. Yeah. And especially with, like, digital things, it doesn't really feel, like, special anyways because it's always just a download code anyways. And you don't get the cart like you used to. And... The artwork just looks like a sleeve that they yeah. put over like the regular box. So yeah. I don't want any of that. Like I just want to be clear that like, when we come up with these bundles, I, I do think that they should be special and they should yeah. be worthwhile. And that like that I don't know, man. The the box should be a piece of art. Yeah. That if it is a Mario Party like edition, yeah. that it should just it should look like that instead of just a little sticker well, that they tacked on. The one thing I will say is the the aces. The Walmart exclusive. Yeah, it looks good. That looks good, man. It looks yeah, really it look good. good. And to and to their credit, it is the the neon like special edition switch. So it has yeah, the blue and the, the red. Like that's kind of cool. Like they they did put a little bit of effort into it. I think not a whole lot, but a little bit. Yeah, and yeah. Those I think the fact that it's a, a pre existing set of Joy Cons yeah. says it's like eh, I could have done. Like it would have been nice more. if they did like. Neon like like or like tennis tennis ball green. I like, want like cow colors. utter pink, you know, for when you play you just when you play one two switch. Did you know that that's the sign for milk? You just like kind of squeeze your hands like it's an udder. There you go. There that you go. That is uh, all. Uh, Thank you guys <laughs> for checking out episode one fourteen of If We Were Nintendo. <laughs> I always know when it's the end. Oh my god! You always, you always just, you know, I know when Sean's ready to go because he does something like that, and I'm like, okay, I gotta get out of this. I'm like talking about calendars again. So, All right. So there we go. Um, for those that uh, that are interested in supporting everything that Sean is doing, go check out their Patreon they have over there for make us better. Uh, follow Sean over on Twitter at Sean Capri. Sean like Connor Capri like the pants. Go check all my stuff out at NintendoGuru.com. Jason Lacey, even though he's not here, J.W. Lacey, go check him out on the Twitters. That is all. Peace out, Preston. Bye. (laughs) Ciao.